Based on the resource manager, the Spark can run in two modes, local mode and cluster mode. The way we specify the resource manager is by the way of a command line option called dash dash master. Local mode, also known as Spark in process, is the default mode of Spark. It does not require any resource manager. It runs everything on the same machine. Because of local mode, we are able to simply download Spark and run without having to install any resource manager. With local mode, we can utilize multiple cores of a CPU for processing. Essentially, it is good for parallel computing. Since the smallest unit of parallelization is a partition, the partitions are generally capped less than or equal to the total number of CPUs available. If we keep partitions more than the CPUs, it would not give us any additional advantages with respect to parallelization. The local mode is also quite useful while testing and Spark application. So, how do you run Spark in local mode? It is very simple. When we do not specify any dash dash master flag to the command Spark shell, Py Spark or Spark submit or any other Spark binary, it is running in local mode. Or we can specify dash dash master option with local as argument, which defaults to a single thread. We can specify the number of threads to use in square brackets after local. So, spark dash shell space dash dash master space local square two is good enough. A better way is to use asterisks instead of specifying the number of threads explicitly. Local square brackets asterisk uses as many threads as the number of processors available to Java Virtual Machine. When we do not provide any master option on the command line, it defaults to local square brackets asterisk. SC or Spark context has a flag is local. If this flag is true, that means Spark is running in local mode, else it is running in cluster mode. The other way to check the mode is by checking a variable master. This variable carries the URL of the master. To know which resource manager we are using, we can print the value of sc.master. Let us do a quick hands-on to check the option master. Let's first log in into CloudX Lab console or SSH. First, we launch Spark Shell without any arguments. Wait for Scala prompt to appear. It might take a while. Once the prompt appears, you can check if it is running in local mode by using sc.isLocal. As you can see that it is running in local mode. Next, we check with sc.master, which returned local square brackets asterisk, which means by default, it uses local mode with maximum number of threads provided to JVM, Java Virtual Machine. Now, exit the Spark shell by pressing Ctrl D. Now relaunch Spark shell with Spark shell dash master local. Once it is up, we can check if it is running in local mode. Also note that the sc.master prints local, not local asterisk. 